falsified fictitious fantasy that is the reality of a narcissist because they are so used to sabotaging their own lives they have time and time again created a false reality for themselves the narcissist exists only on his own perception of the truth and only on his own perception of what he has created himself to be the narcissist's self-regulating uh, mechanism is to continuously and consistently create a false ego of himself for the world to perceive. Narcissistic injury comes when this false ego is tested and questioned, when lies are brought to the surface, and when the narcissist is outed for his behavior or his false sense of reality. Coping with narcissistic abuse is a difficult task because the abuse was based on a person who never existed in the beginning. So trying to make sense and reason of what happened becomes a very tedious task because you have no tangible, logical explanation as to what happened. The entire presence of the narcissist is falsified. Therefore, the behaviors of the narcissist do not line up with logic. Narcissists will do something that is called gaslighting. And that's when your own true perception of reality is tested and questioned by the narcissist, flipped and twisted. So that creates a projection of complete and utter distortion for the victim. Gaslighting can work like this, and this is an example. Um, this is my own personal, one of my own personal experiences with the narcissist. Um, when I had originally started dating the narcissist, he had a very overly um, sexualized relationship with me, which consisted of sex initiated by him up to seven to ten times a day. Um, that reality was taken when he started verbally abusing me and calling me unattractive, um, that he was treating me the way I was because I wasn't attractive to him. and that would kind of blow my perception of the over-sexualized initial relationship out of the water because I was there, I experienced it, I knew it, and when I would bring that up, he would tell me it never happened. Um, so you have to understand that because of the fragility of the narcissist's true identity, which he does not have one, um, they will always create a sense of craziness for their victim so that they can deflect the pain off of them and onto you. Um, narcissistic abuse is very hard to cope and deal with as well because a lot of it is about power and control. And where normal people have a positive sense of self or a whole sense of self, the narcissist has um, navigated through life based solely upon behaviors and um, reactions. So they don't have a sense of self. So when you're dealing with narcissistic abuse, you are dealing with a power and control by the narcissist because they are controlling their victims in order to gain and have a sense of self through projection onto their, um, their victims. So whereas a normal person may not have control issues because they have that conscious sense of awareness, the narcissist does not. So the only means of um, stability for them is to control each and every situation that they come into contact with and when that control is removed that's when a high-level narcissist can become very very dangerous 
as long as the control is in their hands, the narcissist will exhibit narcissistic behavior that is, yes, indeed, mentally uh, challenging, but the physical abuse is triggered solely based upon control. Um, another reason uh, narcissistic abuse is so hard to digest is because you are removed from reality and placed into the narcissist's reality where um, this goes beyond gaslighting where the behaviors of the narcissist are so selfish self-absorbed and one-sided um, that you're pretty much depleted of any type of emotional well-being of yourself when you are in a relationship with a narcissist if you create a list of the positive traits about the narcissist and the contributions that the narcissist has made to the relationship versus the negative attributes of the narcissist and all of the damaging uh, scenarios that the narcissist has contributed to the relationship, you will see that you will literally have nothing on the positive um, paper. It is very rare, very unlikely um, to find somebody that is with a true narcissist in a relationship where they can truly um, have any positive um, uh, outcomes of dating a narcissist. Um, if you enjoy high level drama, um, explosive um, episodes, um, excitement, um, anger um, followed by uh, making up, then yes, a narcissist might work for you, but for many, these are very negative traits. Um, so when you're removed and every, every ounce of goodness and um, emotional uh, support is removed from your life, you are completely depleted um, emotionally and left, as they say, a shell of a person because you are desperately grasping at um, some type of support and you're not getting it. So um, along with all of the gaslighting and the lies, um, the manipulation and the disregard for humane treatment, the victim is often left with a, a very vulnerable state, um, a very dark state. Um, their confidence is usually completely depleted um, because the narcissist is so um, verbally abusive and will gain control by um, attacking verbally and emotionally at their victim um, that the victim loses their will to fight and continue um, to be them uh, and it's very difficult to deal with that um, if you have never had to deal with that um, so these are some of the reasons why uh, narcissistic abuse is so foreign and alien um, it's because you are literally dealing with an alien body. That's why they call it an antisocial behavioral disorder because narcissists do not know how to socially integrate into society. Although they can um, mimic certain behaviors that they learn when involved in an intimate relationship with uh, their closest um, partners, uh, they, they just cannot, um, connect, um, empathetically and, um, on any social level with them because they are antisocial and do not, um, exhibit the normal social, um, contributors that most people have in order to properly connect and thrive in relationships. So these are a couple of the factors um, when understanding narcissistic abuse and narcissistic abuse of victims and why they are hypervigilant, um, why they are trying to out the narcissist is because it was such an unreal scenario for them and it was so um, alien and foreign um, that a lot of the victims are still trying to make sense of it all. But if you do understand the disease, um, and you do know how the, the mind of a narcissist works, it makes perfect sense. 
Um, I'll be talking a little more on another video about the predictability of a narcissist because they are in fact one of the most predictable creatures when you know the pattern uh, that leads them to their manic, aggressive, explosive 